Hey guys, I'm back again with another quick tutorial showing you guys how to achieve this dramatic smoky cut crease look using my favourite colours, purple and pink. If you want to see how to get it, then keep on watching. To start off this look, I'm taking the Morocco shadow from the Amrezi palette. Oh, this palette is amazing. I absolutely love it, you guys. I'm going to use it for the entire look, actually. I'm just blending this one through the crease to warm it up and act as a transition colour. Then I'm going to go in with Iridescent Purple, which is basically the bulk of this look. Running that one on the same fluffy brush, this is the E35 from Sigma. I'm working that one backwards and forward in the crease. And basically what I'm going to do is really start building up the intensity of that colour. So I'm going to go in with the shadow, blend it out, and then go back in with it again and blend it out. Now you'll see here that I've swapped to a more dense and firm blending brush. This is basically just going to allow us to pack on even more colour and also create that really harsh sculpted line of the cut crease. Don't worry about the line being too precise at the minute, we're going to carve it out with a lighter shadow later on. So just keep building until you're happy with the intensity of the purple. You can make it as light or as dark as you want. Personally, I went a little bit darker this time. I'm now taking vanilla from the palette, and this is sort of like a shimmery champagne kind of colour. I'm going to use this one to highlight my brow bone and also the inner tear ducts of my eyes. And then following up with that, I'm taking the gold shimmer shade. This is called Legend, and I'm patting this one all over the lid. I'm patting it on quite thick. I don't want to be able to see any of the other colours poking through this one. And as you can see here, I'm using the very, very tips of the bristles of that brush to really carve out that cut crease line. Once you're happy with that cut crease, you then want to go in and line your eyes using some black gel liner. Today I'm using the Inglot AMC. I'm sure no one's surprised by this. It's such a good eyeliner. I'm just using a very small angled brush and first working on the areas closest to my lash line. So carving it along and then I'm building out my wing as well. Once again, personal preference, if you want a massive wing, go for it. If you want a little ring, go for it. It really doesn't matter. And then just building up the intensity and smoothing out any of the lines. If you do make any mistakes, you can take a little bit of makeup remover on a clean angled brush and use that to correct your work. Then to further smoke out that eyeliner, I'm taking the black shadow from the palette LBD, which I'm assuming stands for Little Black Dress. And I'm basically just working this one over the top of the gel eyeliner just to sort of soften out the edges. And if you have made any mistakes, it does make the whole thing look really clean and neat as well. For my lower lash line, I'm first taking this pigment from my Naked Pigment Glitter Stack. I will list all the details for this one below. And I'm basically working this one on a pencil brush through the lower lash line. And then to further intensify this, I'm actually taking a hot pink colour. This is actually my NARS Desire blush because I couldn't find an eyeshadow that had enough intensity. And I'm just sort of working that on the outer corner, blending it up along the edge of that wing, and then smoking it out using a fluffy brush. To darken everything up and make it more dramatic, I'm just carrying that same black gel eyeliner through my lower waterline. If you're more comfortable using a black coal pencil, by all means, go ahead. It is a little bit easier and a little bit less dangerous for jabbing your eye out. And then following up with that, I'm taking some mascara and coating my upper and lower lashes. This is the new Rimmel Mascara, the one with Argan Oil. I can't remember the name of it, but I will list it below. And then finally to finish off with the shadows, I'm taking a little bit more of that black and I'm just working it through the outer V of the crease area just to add a little bit of extra dimension. So seeing as I've gone all out with this cut crease, I'm going to go all out with lashes as well. So first I'm applying a set of lower lashes. These are the Precious Lash from House of Lashes. These ones are probably the most comfortable lower lashes that I've found. Normally I cannot stand wearing them, but I can wear these ones for hours. And then for upper lashes is another set of House of Lashes. These are the Iconics. And I'm applying them using a pair of tweezers and then wiggling the band into the place that's most comfortable for me. Now just quickly perfecting my foundation. I did already apply it first off camera. I used the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk and I used the Rimmel Stay Matte Primer. I am an oily girl, so I do like my mattifying primers. Then to help conceal any areas of darkness and just clean up the areas around my eyes, I'm taking my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the color Custard and I'm popping that in the areas where I need some extra coverage and some extra brightness. And then of course, blending that one in, I'm just using the same beauty blender that I applied my foundation with and I'm using the pointed tip to get into the contours of my under eye area. 
Then to further highlight and brighten, you girls know I cannot help myself, I'm taking my MAC Prep and Prime Highlight Pen in Light Boost, I think that's what it's called, I will list it below, and I'm applying this one underneath my eyes, in between my brows, on my chin and also down the bridge of my nose, and then once again blending that in with the Beauty Blender. I do really love liquid highlighting, it's not a shimmer, it's still matte, but it just really adds brightness to the face. To contour and highlight, I'm using my Australis Cosmetics Contour Palette. Love, love, love this thing. This one's available mid-October. You guys are going to go nuts. It's only $16.95 and it is crazy pigmented. I'm obsessed. I'm just taking that really bright yellow shade and applying it to the areas where we've applied that liquid highlight. So underneath the eyes, between the brows, down the bridge of the nose and on the chinny chin chin. <laughs> And then taking one of the darker brown shades from the palette, I'm going to use this to sculpt out my cheekbones, my forehead, and also underneath my chin as well. Honestly, this palette, I have no words, and it is so affordable. I cannot wait for you guys to get your hands on it. Now because I want all of the focus on the eyes, I'm not actually going to add any colour with a blush. I'm instead going to add a little bit of colour with a bronzer. This is the Maybelline Dream Sun Bronzer, I think. <laughs> Once again, I will list it below. It's got a really nice orangey undertone, so it looks really, really nice as a blush. And then of course using my absolutely beloved new baby, this is the BB Plus Illumination Cream from Gerard Cosmetics. The best liquid highlighter you will ever use in your life, no kidding. If you guys want to pick it up a little bit cheaper, use the code JOY for 25% off and they do ship to Australia for $9.50 I think. For lips, I'm using the Coquette Lipstick from Lime Crime. It's sort of like a pinky undertoned, corally nude-ish kind of color. Basically, I'm just using this as a base color before going in with a sort of a fluoro pink lip gloss. And the lipstick I'm using is the Gerard Cosmetics Color Your Smile Gloss in the color Fiji. Once again, oh my goodness, you guys know how obsessed I am with these. If you do want 25% off your order, use the code JOY and you will get it. These are amazing. They put the P in pigment, I'll tell you that now. <laughs> And then you are done. So this is the completed look. I hope you guys really enjoyed the tutorial. Definitely head over to my Instagram and Facebook pages if you want to see some more close-up images of the look. And yeah, leave me any questions in the comments bar below. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.